Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. This is Vishal and you're watching Nifty and Bank Nifty short term view. On the right hand side, I have the Nifty Spot daily chart and on the left hand side, I have the Nifty Spot hourly time frame chart. In terms of trend, you can see that prices are above the dual moving averages in both of the time frames. So it is clearly visible that the trend is absolutely up. Now, we saw that in the initial morning trading session, there was a pretty decent rally. And after the morning session, there was some sort of intraday volatility visible. Now, what was the reason for that? The first reason was obviously that banking pack was not participating. Actually, there is some sort of triangle formation which is visible in the price as well as in the RSI. If you check properly, you will see the same formation in the banking pack, RSI and the price. And one more thing is in the PSU banks, you will see that the stocks have dipped, like especially the SBI or if you check the Canada banking, all these stocks have dipped, but after the dip, they have not been able to rally. So once they start rallying, I guess uh, it will provide a very good support to the Nifty rally. Now, according to me, if tomorrow we surpass today's day high, and if we continue rallying, then it is pretty much possible that we can test this level of uh, 18,370. And probably later on in next couple of days, we could also test somewhere around 18,450. But it is very much necessary that we start trading above today's high. Now in Bank Nifty, the trend is up in the daily time frame chart. But uh, in the hourly time frame chart, it is extremely choppy so short term traders should be very very careful when you are trading the bank nifty now in psu banking pack canada bank is one stock which has dipped but it has not been able to rally that is right but if it sustains above this level which is around 303 to 306 this is the entire band which is you know a short term resistance band so if we have a close above this then there is a possibility of a decent rally on the upside in Canada Bank. One more stock according to me is uh, Maruti, which is in the auto pack. Now, this particular stock has been seeing resistance from these levels. And when price closed above this level, the same resistance is now providing a support. The same level is now providing a support. And if I add one more indicator over here, which is the Donchian channel, which is one of my favorite indicators, you can see it has given a breakout in this particular indicator. So this is a tremendous confirmation that this seems to be pretty much a uh, stock which is pretty ready for a short term swing trade on the upside. And if it manages to sustain above 8926, if it goes below 8926, then there is a possibility that this positive view which has been created in this stock will be negated. But if it manages to stay above 8926 somewhere over here, all right, then there is a possibility that Maruti could go higher somewhere around by nine, uh, 93 or even 9400. And on the higher side, it can even test 96, 96, 25. So keep this stock in your watch list if you're a swing trader. And I should say special thanks to two sectors, especially the metal pack which dipped recently and after this doji, it rallied pretty sharply. And one more was the IT pack. Now, IT pack suddenly has closed above these two dual moving averages. Seems pretty interesting to me. I guess let few days go, let few days pass by, and then only we'll be able to understand that whether this is just a mere knee-jerk reaction or a rally or is it just a pullback or something. Because if you check in the early time frame charts, the RSI is already overbought. Okay. So overall, it seems that Nifty is looking pretty strong. Only thing is that it needs to sustain above today's high. Then a short term rally on the upside is possible. All right. So I hope this video has helped you to understand how Nifty Bank Nifty will move in the next few days. Trade safely. Thank you.